Have a good day. <laughs> Hi everyone! Hi! Now, welcome guys! I'm gonna turn this one down. This is from Daniel Powter, Bad Day. So I want to send a big, big, big thank you to my good friend Van. Mwah! Sending you lots of love from Sydney. And thank you for sharing this music to me because I know you've had a rough week. I know a lot of us have a rough week. And what I want to talk about bad days, bad weeks, bad months, bad years. So this is an important vlog to tune in. So this is a video just to give you some tips and advice on how to turn a bad day into a good day. These are my advices. This is what I would do if things are, aren't turning the way I want it to go. And you can apply this at any time. And if you've got the place, if you've got the money, and, um, and also if you've surround yourself with really good things. But anyway, let's get started. So the first thing is when you're having a bad situation that had occurred during work or during uh, a situation when you're having a conversation with somebody, it's not coming, going the way you want to, just remove yourself from that situation and then just take a breather. Just walk away and go, look, I just need a breather for a second. Um, guys, just hear me out and I'll come back and give me 10, 15 minutes. Just give you, allow yourself some time so the other person knows that you just need a breather. Um, it, it is a good idea to just not jump into the conversation when, it's, when you're getting fired up and just it's going this way, sort of like, you know, calm and peaceful. So I suggest just walking away from that situation. Two, go exercise. I burn everything off, I go to the gym or I'm doing mixed martial arts and I just throw myself and immerse myself into an exercise routine to forget about the situation. And plus it's another way of form of meditation, it's another way of removing yourself so the situation doesn't get um, more tougher. But the thing is fitness. Changing your body routine and moving and your momentum helps switch this mindset as well. And it's supposed to give you that better physiology of mindset change. The other example I would um, do is meditate. I meditate every day. I don't miss a beat of breathing. I love it. I enjoy it. It has helped me reduce anxiety, depression, and gives you more clarity as well. And has helped uh, change your whole body motion momentum because it is just this motion of you being who you are and just stilling the mind and allowing peace to come through and allow your body to settle. So that's one idea. I've got another idea as well and I've written it here. Um, I go to call my friends, I message my friends and go, look, you know what, I'm having a bad day. How are you guys going? Um, some, like, sometimes I tell them what's going on. My friends just want to hear me out and they would give an advice. My girlfriends have always got my back and I always got their back and it's great to hear another opinion because sometimes when we're all fired up it, it can mean that there's something inside us that hasn't been let go as well and we have to look within and educate and learn ourselves, teach ourselves what's going on. Why am I getting fired up for something because it's not about them, sometimes it is about us, you know, so you've got to reflect. When, when you're calling a friend or you're meditating or you're exercising, sometimes it allows you to just reflect. That's the whole point of removing yourself from the situation because you don't want the situation to get worse, right? <laughs> Take a long bath is another soothing way. Uh, watch something that makes you laugh. So what TV show do you watch? What movies have you watched in the past that just makes you laugh? And I love watching things that makes me 
fall to the ground and laughing in tears you know that is the best feeling ever and even if you want to watch it with your friends um, it is just the best thing to do because it just re-energize things out um, write it out so if you're a journal sort of person a diary sort of person um, writing out how you feel is a really good way and it's a therapy way that I found change your perspective is my other idea as well so this is tip number 10 feelings of frustration and anger often come from the mind so that every action we are taking at this moment is very important take a minute to think about what you're very grateful for so do a grateful moment session doing a grateful moment session helps increase frequency and I've talked a lot about this as well grateful for the little things, grateful for having friends, grateful that you've got income coming, grateful you've got a roof over your head, grateful that you've got a good group of friends to talk to, you're grateful that you're alive, you're grateful you've got clothes, you know, all that sort of stuff. Just think about the little things that you have. When you've done at least 10 grateful things, your frequency and body physiology should change. Change that makes you feel good inside. You know, um, there have research been shown that gratefulness has the highest frequency after happy and joy. Okay, so I hope you take at least one out of these 10 tips to change your bad day to a good day. Change your bad week into a good week. Because everything that comes to us is a lesson. Anyway guys, hope you had a wonderful session with me this morning, this afternoon, this evening. <laughs> and tune in next week guys. And also, please, please, please continue to watch my Empower Your Spirit. Because that journey of mine is a journey that I went on. And it's helping you for the next 100 days to get you out of the situation that you are in. And I'm sharing them from the love, from the bottom of my heart, the full of golden heart to you guys. So be sure you are at one with fear, because when you do, everything 